Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Joy and I'm doing dishes and I've got, you know, a couple weeks of grow out going on and no makeup and I thought this might be a great time to chat and just catch up. Um, I wanted to go ahead and answer some frequently asked questions about my capsule wardrobe of what I'm wearing for the next however long and um, also talk about inexpensive food, share my um, beans and rice recipe, which you guys have been asking for. So it's just kind of going to encapsulate a whole bunch of things. So I hope you'll just hang out with me while I'm doing stuff. I don't have a great camera angle, so you're just going to have to bear with me. But welcome. This is the real me. <laughs> and if you're going to see videos, it's going to be the real me. So first of all, where did my Pine and Smith dresses go? That is the number one question that I've been getting asked on Instagram and on YouTube. Here is the reality. About six months ago, I was convicted or just inspired, you could say, to give away my Pine and Smith dresses to my friends here in Uganda who I felt like could use them more than me. Um, I love the dresses. They're like heirlooms. I always talked about how I was going to save them for my daughters one day. Um, that they were like the perfect house dress. Uh, they are expensive and they last forever. They're super easy to wash and super easy to dry. Most of my friends need something that is breathable, easy, and can be used because usually Ugandan women are working hard. That's the first thing. Second thing, they are super, like if you have to hand wash, which is actually best to do with linen, they're really, really easy to hang and dry. And that is something that most Ugandan women need to hand wash their laundry. So I decided that I would rather give them, I hope you can hear those birds, by the way. Hot, oh, you're pretty. It's like a bright blue bird. Oh, I need to have my son come identify it. I can't tell you what it is. Um, so I gave them away. And do I regret it? No. Do I miss them? Yes. But I wasn't going to say anything because I hate to let, you know, what my left hand know what my right hand is doing or I don't want you to think of me as any hero or quote unquote white savior, which is a whole nother topic for another day. Um, but I didn't want Pina Smith to bear the brunt of people thinking that I didn't love the dresses because I do. I love Pina Smith dresses. They are the most comfortable. They're easy. You throw them on. You can wear them all day. You feel beautiful, put together, simple, all the things. So that's when I gave them away. And then a couple months later, I decided to invest, I think it was $28 total um, for all of my thrifted outfits and that's what I'm going to be wearing until further notice. Hey Sonia, hang on a second. Sonia needed a snack so I'm going to give her this bounty. Strawberries and raspberries are like growing like crazy here in Uganda and I'm super proud. <laughs> I don't know what I did but um so that's going to be her snack. She loves her raspberries and then there's one and a half strawberries. <laughs> So if you have no idea what I'm talking about as far as my clothing, then you can go find my, I'll just link it down below, my capsule wardrobe, thrifted capsule wardrobe video. Um, I'm just going to be wearing these items for the next however long, hopefully for a really long time, and then I'll only replace things one for one as they wear out and then bring in something new. Um, and the next question that I got a lot of is, don't you get bored? Well, yeah, I do. I'm not gonna lie. I love clothes and I am tempted by other people's pretty clothes. It's always been a thing with me. You can go back and see my previous videos. I love nice things, I love nice clothing, um, but I've really come to a place in my life where I value other people's livelihood better, more than I value my what I put on my body every day. Now, you can say, oh, don't be a martyr. Oh, just spend some money, it's not a big deal. That's fine. I, I am not trying to sell you on anything. I'm just telling you what's making me inside of my deep down heart, soul, really happy right now. And that is to just live simply, wear things that I think are super cute. I think this shirt is actually super cute. 
Um, and I like it and I kind of did a weird mix and mash. This is my twall skirt, but I think it's kind of fun and I'm not going anywhere today, so who cares? Um, but, and then these are cow horn earrings from my favorite designer, Jalia from Ajuna. She also designs for Noonday collection, if you know what that is, but um, that's cow horn. Don't worry, no animals are harmed in the making of cow horn earrings, but it's just a way to represent my Ugandan friends and support them while while I'm uh, yeah wearing something super cute. We call these the missionary mom earrings because pretty much every missionary mom has these. Um, these ones are bigger. My previous ones got broken, so I went ahead and purchased another pair because all the like every, all the proceeds go Jalia and her husband like employ moms um single moms who need work so it's a good it's a good thing so i will link her instagram and the, there's an ajuna usa website i'll also link those so do i get bored of course i do because i like clothes and i think pretty things are fun but i feel really content and happy when i embrace my what is the word? When I embrace my values and live them out with what I wear. And at the end of the day, nobody really cares what I wear. That's the truth. Um, I actually like the things that I wear and I feel pretty in them. And for 26 bucks total for a whole wardrobe, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. So that is to answer that question. Please don't feel sorry for me. Please don't send me anything. Um, I'm fine. Uh, and it is my pleasure and my joy to live simply for the betterment of other people and to help our two oldest kids go to university and to feed our four other kids who are still here with us and to feed, you know, friends, neighbors, loved ones here in Uganda. So please don't feel sorry for me. Um, it's an absolute pleasure. Okay, so um, beans and rice recipe I'm gonna put down in the description box below. I'm just gonna go over it really quickly. Basically what I do every week is I start pinto beans, kidney beans, whatever beans I can find or whatever beans I decide I want in the crock pot. I put them on low on, with some water covering, like well covering them overnight, just water and beans overnight on low in the crock pot. Yes, you can use the pressure cooker. I do that sometimes. I actually hate the pressure cooker. It scares me, but that's fine. I used to cook on charcoal, but lockdown has made it necessary for me to do things a bit more simple. So crock pot uses a lot of electricity. Yes, that's true, but it's just one of the things I have to do right now. Then in the morning, I dump off the water. I save the bean water that I actually use for dog food, but that's food for the dogs, not dog food. This was a issue on Instagram once people thought we were eating dog, but no, making food for dogs with the bean water. Then I, so I leave a little bit of bean water in there. I put in whatever kind of chopped up tomatoes. You can use tomato paste with water. You can use diced tomato, cans of diced tomatoes, basically four cups-ish of a tomato product. Usually what I do is just cut up tomatoes and blend them until they're like a choppy consistency and just dump that all in the crock pot. But diced tomatoes is a great way to go. Salt, cumin, taco seasoning, chicken broth, two to four cups of chicken broth, olives if you have them, corn if you like it. I think that's it. I'll put the recipe down below so you can be sure. And then I just cook that on low if I start in the morning or high if I start in the afternoon in the crock pot. And then it smells good all day. I taste it, add more seasonings depending on, oh, and I also add lots of garlic, by the way. We love garlic. 
Um, if you wanted to, you could um, brown some onions and garlic together and then dump that in. That would make it even taste better, but sometimes I'm too lazy to do that. Then at the end of the day, it's basically what we call crockpot Mexican. We serve it up in a bowl over rice. We love to make Brazilian rice, um, which is just a simple, you can look it up, it's really simple. Or if we're really brave, we make cilantro lime rice. We eat it with tortillas or we cut the tortillas up and fry it chips. We have tons of avocados, so it's, there's always a guacamole. And then there's salsa, cheese, ranch dressing, which is our version of sour cream because we can't get sour cream. And we serve it up, we like eat it in a bowl. And then we have salad on the side or fresh fruit or both. And that is Monday dinner. So I will leave a recipe down below, but that is a super easy way to feed your family. You don't even have to be around to make it happen. If there's a day that you're gonna be out or you're working or whatever, throw it in the crock pot and you're done. It is crazy cheap. You could add meat to it if you wanted. That original recipe um, called for some meat. Usually if I'm gonna add meat, I add like half a pound of ground beef and I will saute that on the um, on the stove with some onion and then just dump it into the crock pot it's totally not necessary but if you want to change the flavor add a little extra you can do that so that's it that is what we do so i know somebody's gonna ask i would say it's probably about a pound of beans yeah a pound of beans to four cups of tomato stuff two to four cups of chicken broth depending on how you like soupier or drier whatever and then all the seasonings olives corn whatever you can dream up that you want to throw in there if you like it hot add some jalapenos all of the things so that is the beans recipe we also make a caribbean beans and rice recipe i will put that down below also very simple also very easy oh my goodness that is the end of that. <laughs> was it yummy? It was so yummy. Okay, hang on. Hi. You wanted to say hi. Okay. And then um, also you can add in some cooked sweet potatoes into your Mommy. beans and rice recipe. Yes. Hey, Mom, what's yes. your stuffing pot? Well, I'm talking about food. Do you like our beans and rice recipes? Yeah, but chef. Yeah, but chef, but chef, but mm -hmm. Mom, me. Yes. Mommy, to you. Those people out there that we can't see right now. I don't know who it all is. But, but see why you do it. So people can know about our life and they can see us. They like you. We said in heaven? Nope, they're not in heaven. They're on earth. They're just in different places on earth. Okay, say yeah, bye, guys. We said it. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> Somebody's confused. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye guys. Okay. And then for tonight, we're having um, one of our favorite recipes, which is creamy vegetable curry. It's, um, it has like a, this is a, ooh, yeah. There, it's a cashew cream. It's basically just soaked cashews, garlic, salt, and water um, blended together to make like, it makes like a creamy, base and then just a total ton of veg. Um, the recipe is from oshiglows.com. I will leave the link down below. It is one of our favorites. We always eat it over rice and with salad and it's delicious and it's really cheap. I mean, other than the cashews, obviously it's, it's vegan, um, which we're not vegan or vegetarian, but we do eat mainly vegetarian or vegan meals just to save money because there's a lot of us we live on a tiny budget. So, I think that's it. Did I answer all your questions? If not, can you leave me another question down in the description box, uh, down in the comments? And let me know how you like these kind of chatty videos where I'm kind of a hot mess. <laughs> um, I can't promise I'm gonna get done up for you the next time, but um, I really enjoy just coming on and chatting with you. Uh, and, um, Oh, the one thing I did want to say, 
So if you're interested in like capsule wardrobes and simple capsule wardrobes, I recommend two channels. Go watch Heidi at Heavenly Minded Homeschool, which she has tons of things, but she has a video, which I'll link below, called Seven Dresses for Seven Days. I love it. It's adorable and she's so cute and she has really inexpensive outfits that look great. And also, Rebecca from Joyful Mothering just did her um, summer capsule wardrobe and I think her, she's just so cute. And um, of course, the Daily Connoisseur, the 10 item wardrobe, which I'll also link below. She's always the queen of class and the 10 item wardrobe. So I'll link all three of those below if you want more information. And if you're still here after all of this, well done. I'll be back next week. I said we were going to go over um, percentages for the budget and I just haven't had a minute to sit down. It's been busy and that's good. It's not a bad busy, but yeah. So I thought we would talk on the fly. Now I actually haven't washed any of the dishes while I've been talking, but I will be back soon, hopefully within the week, um, because if I can make them like this, then it's easier to, to do and upload. So have a great day, God bless you, and talk to me in the comments. What do you think about all the things we talked about and did I answer your questions? Have a great day and yeah, bye. Hey Eleanor, you loving your water and your green peppers? Oh my goodness, you're so pretty. Finished the strawberries and now and the raspberries and now you need to eat some pineapple. Yeah. I know pineapple's delicious, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. so thankful. Yeah. It's like yeah, 50 wait, cents. Wait, 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 wait. It, and healthy for you too. It's so healthy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's so so healthy. Yeah, and water. And water's healthy too. Yeah.